If you want to send students messages through Canvas, you are going to take advantage of the inbox, which is over here on the left hand side of your screen. When you click on inbox, it will open up your conversations that you've had. And to write someone, you are going to go over to this little pencil with a like piece of paper to compose a new message. Now you can choose which course you want to use and so these are the favorite ones the ones that i have starred in my dashboard the ones that i have current right now i can look at all of my other courses that i've had or if you have any particular groups that you've set up that is a little more challenging to do um it's in the people section i have not utilized that this was a group from a course that i was in as a student but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the course and let's say I want it to go to my biology course. Now within that, if I click over on the right hand side, there's kind of an address book. And here I can choose who I want it to go to. So I have 344 people in my biology and that's because I taught four sections of biology and it includes their parents as well. So what I want to do is let's say I just want it to go to a particular section and I, and I want it to go to like first period. Okay, so this will go right now it's to everyone in first period. So that's 94 people. That is students, teachers, and observers. So teachers would be if I had a co-teacher um, and maybe it's other counselors in your case. So I might just want it to go to the parents or I might want it to go to the students. So I can click on students and I can say all in students. And maybe I want it to go to parents as well. So I can click to go back to course sections, to first period, to observers and all in observers. Honestly, if I wanted to do both parents and students, I probably would have just done um, all in biology for that period. So course sections, first period, all of them, because really it's just me as the other missing person from that. But you can do all of your students and all of your different courses as well. So I can um, click on students and get to individual students. I could go back and I could go to course selection and I want to go to third period and I could add all of the third period people. So you can choose which group of people just by keep adding to your list up here. So then you're going to type on a subject line of what you want the email message to be. And what I recommend is sending an individual message to each recipient. So it's not like a group email, but each person gets an individual email. And then you can type the content of your message. Down at the bottom of the screen, you can at add attachments or record an audio or video comment that you would send out. And then you're just going to press send and it will send to all of the students, the parents, in all of your courses, just some of your courses, you really get to choose who you want to send it to. Then when you get an email from someone or a message, you will see a little number one or however many unread messages you have by the little icon right here. And you can click on it and you can reply directly from Canvas. But if you have not changed any of your notification settings in Canvas, when a student sends you a message from Canvas, it automatically gets forwarded to your Gmail. And you can respond to the Gmail and it will go back to the student through Canvas. And students should technically see their messages that get sent through Canvas to them in their Gmail because that should be auto forwarded unless they've changed their notifications. So it's really hit or miss where you see things. Um, or where students, what students actually see, because they tend to not like getting all the notifications. But if you click on your account up at the top left of your screen and go to notifications, what you want to make sure that you have turned on 
are the conversations. So when you're added to a conversation or you get a conversation message, that would be an email or a message through Canvas that you've received. So I recommend to have the check mark checked because that will then send it to your email address.